Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. It was smiles across the board for the NDSU men and women, both able to take down their in-state rivals, the University of North Dakota, in the final game before the holiday break, reminding everyone that, yes, North Dakota is indeed a Bison state. And welcome in to the Bison Basketball Show. My name is Jeff Colhane. Happy holidays, everyone. I'm glad to be joined by the head coach, David Richmond. Coach, happy holidays. How was your Christmas, by the way? Wonderful. I had plenty of ham, Jeff, and uh, thus plenty of salt, so I'm, I'm prepared for this winter winter months here yep. coming up. Happy holidays and Christmas, a time of obviously giving, gifts. If you were to ask for something for your basketball team this time of year, oh. what would that be right now? I think it'd easily, easily be health. You know, to go back through the non-conference season, Jeff, and just the adversity that went through, we went through, the challenges that we went through, the odd challenges and adversity that we went through, um, for just these guys to settle into a little rhythm and routine in life, and, and that starts with our health and safety, just being together. Uh, felt great to get away. I know to get back with the guys is going to feel even just, just as good. Yeah, before we get to the highlights, I've always asked you this question. Basketball season, a unique time. You go through two major holidays, Thanksgiving and obviously Christmas right now. Family, very important to you, I know, and to all your, your student athletes, coaches as well around your program. You gave the guys some time off. And then you got to get back and you got to get refocused. What's that fine line like as a head coach? and now refocusing, which is, this is a very big week here early in conference play. 100%, and I'm, I'm not always the number one fan for some of our guys' as moms. You know, <laughs> the holidays are special to everybody, to family, and, and, and me as well. And, and to get away for a little bit, we were able to give the guys three full days off, almost four days, Jeff, and, and to get them back here on the 26th and, and round into what is, you know, this is it. This is phase two of um, the second most important season for us as we round into the, you know, the, the most important phase, and that's March. That's conference tournament time, and um, we're really excited. We were able to start with the bang and be 1-0, and um, and we're going into a really important week here this week. It's a big week this week for David Richmond, Jory Collins as well, their NDSU men's and women's basketball teams with South Dakota State and the University of South Dakota. The men at home at the Shack Thursday, Saturday, the women on the road in Brookings and in Vermilion. But last Wednesday, an impressive victory for the Bison men and women. Let's start with the men, obviously. Take a look, roll the highlights with the University of North Dakota in town. And coach, throw the records out the window. They were down a couple of pieces, obviously. So were you with your health and, and trying to get healthy and, and get everybody on the same page. Uh, but this is always a game that provides a lot of unique challenges, different than what you game plan for, it feels like, every single time. 100%, and, and, I, and I think we, we went into it, it was just so odd to be playing this conference game right before break, and, and because of the, you know, the non-conference season that we've had, the adversity, the challenges, the travel, all those things, it was almost like we treated it like a, a culminating party to our non-conference season. And, oh, just by the way, it happens to be that first non or conference game. It's the University of North Dakota. It's your in-state rival. Um, so just really pleased with our guys. You know, we, we came out and, and we had moments of, of, of brilliance where we were really sharp. I thought we were, had some moments, too, where we relaxed a little bit. Let's give the University of North Dakota credit. Um, they didn't make excuses like you, you figured they wouldn't with a, a Paul Sather coach team. But at the end of the day, I was extremely proud of our guys for finding a way down the stretch. It, it wasn't pretty, uh, but that's okay. That, that's conference basketball. That's rival, rivalry basketball. Um, we're happy to be 1-0 and and starting into that conference season that way. Tyree Eady is going to join us here in our next segment, which we're excited about. You see some of the big plays he is making on the highlights here, Coach. A captain on this team, a veteran. What has he meant? What did he mean in this game with some of the shots he made down near the basket? Well, as the kids like to say, there's swag in, in the game, and, and Tyree brings a lot of swag to us. He's a been there, done that guy. He's been around the block, and he's, he's experienced a lot of success. Uh, on the court, but I think it's who Tyree is off the court that, that just really um, exemplifies who our seniors are in general. Between Tyree, Rocky, and Sam, um, they're leaders. Uh, they're leaders in the classroom. They're leaders in the community. Um, and you're starting to see in this three or four game run that we're on, Tyree's played his best basketball of the season, clearly. Um, and, and that version of himself, you know, down the stretch last year. And, and when, when Tyree's locked in, getting 18 and 7 like he did the other night, that's when our team goes from really good to great. And it's exciting to see him pick it up. Nice finish by Tyree right there. You're seeing a lot of highlights, and there's the exclamation 
mark right there on the lob to Devil's Lake native Grant Nelson, a career high for Grant. Also, obviously, as we take a look at the Gate City Bank game recap here in the 86-76 win, Tyree 18 and 7, but a career high for Bowden Scunberg as well, the Jamestown native. Two North Dakota kids in this in-state rivalry matchup who shine brightest for your team. What does that mean to you when you see something like that? Yeah, we're all North Dakota State kids, right? And I'm a North Dakota State guy uh, myself, being my alma mater. But two, it has to be really special for those guys, Grant and Bowden in particular. Um, two guys that grew up in the state and, and, and had choices, you know, when choosing state schools. Um, and for them to choose the Bison, for them to be with us, and then to have success on a stage like that, pretty special. Really happy for them, but, you know, most importantly, and, and as they would tell you, too, happy for us to get that victory. Yeah, 86-76 win. Kind of a weird time for this game as we mentioned with the uh, earlier start to conference play the addition of St. Thomas and obviously you got to get them all in before that Summit League tournament down in Sioux Falls that first week in March. Well as we mentioned it's a massive week and the Bison take on South Dakota State and the University of South Dakota Thursday and Saturday you see our broadcast schedule here with SDSU on Thursday the Coyotes on Saturday Let's start 35,000 foot view coach. I know it's feel, trying to get out of the holidays and get back into game mode, but these are two very important games to you and your program early in Summit League play. Yeah, there's no dipping your toe in the water, Jeff. We're going to jump all into conference play, and we're excited about that. As a competitor, you want to be challenged. We're going to get challenged right outside of the, right out of the gates, and we already have with our in-state rival. Um, we're just going to move that just to across the border rival in, in the universe or South Dakota State first uh, on Thursday and then the University of South Dakota on Saturday. And, and we're really excited for these opportunities. Um, we know the history and tradition behind these, these programs, um, and it stacks up to who we are and, and who we want to continue to be. And so we'll, we're going to be extremely excited for these challenges this week. Coach, big week. Can't wait. Again, happy holidays, and thanks so much for the time. Happy holidays to you as well, Jeff. Yep. Thank you. So head coach David Richmond coming up. This is going to be fun. A wrinkle for our show here this week. Bison senior forward Tyree Eady will stop by to talk about his experience and this team this season. Stay with us. More to come. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing. Which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. This means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank for a better way of life. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Before the game is played, before the fans show up, Game plans are being made. It's pre-game preparation at your locally owned Bottle Barn Liquors. This is your time to explore our field, aisles of tailgating traditions. Kick off your game day with Hall of Fame players like Truly, Mick Ultra, and High Noon. You make the call. Whatever the game plan, you're sure to score big savings. Winners know the game day starts at Bottle Barn Liquors. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And hey, welcome back to the Bison Basketball Show. Very excited this week on our show. A little wrinkle bringing in student athletes from both the men's and women's basketball teams. Very happy to be joined by senior forward and captain Tyree Eady. Hey, happy holidays. How were the holidays? You able to get away for a few days? It was nice seeing the family after a little while. You know, getting, getting to celebrate Christmas is always good, but uh, ready to get back and get playing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important this time of year, I know, to, to refocus, get it back going. Does it feel a little different with conference play this early in the season playing UN? 
Indy last week, and now you got two huge games at home, Tyree, with South Dakota State and the University of South Dakota. Obviously, conference games are you know added type of uh, pressure, but you know, as a team, we're ready, we're focused, we're experienced. So just being locked in the next game, one one game at a time, is that's our, that's our mindset. Yeah, absolutely. And when you think about uh, preparing this time of year and what these games mean as you take a look at some of the highlights of yourself from non-conference play what would you tell people the level of play how is it increased how is it cranked up with these games with everybody knowing so much about each other as well yeah, every game means something in the conference you know, like um, there's rivals there's tough games everything means something in March so every game every second matters so going out there and just playing your hardest and making sure you're real locked in on what you're doing at the moment I mean all that matters in March how would you describe this version of Bison basketball through non-conference play here early in the season? Went through some injuries, went through some unique things, obviously, overall. What was that like? And how does that test, as a captain, test leadership, keeping guys uh, tight, keeping them together, and, and on the, you know, focused on the prize overall? So adversity is always tough. Going through rough patches is always tough. But as a leader, being, being a guy that's been there done that, just keeping the guys, you know, up, upbeat, having fun, having joy, you know, we're keep working hard no matter what goes on. And that's the most important part. You know, as a team, we had a lot of adversity with Morgan, Sam, injuries and stuff like that, and Malik. So just keeping everybody on the same page and keeping everybody locked in, you know, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, okay. So this week, obviously, we know big matchups that we've talked about. South Dakota State, South Dakota, Thursday, 7 p.m., Saturday, 1 p.m. We'd love to have you there. Pack the shack. What's it like for the players with these games? SDSU, USD, you have them at your place here early in the season. Any games, any games. SDSU and USD being in, uh, out of state rivals. Um, this is an added type of energy, but for us, this next game up. Every game's important to us, so just being locked in the scouting report and watching the film, practicing hard, and going out there and competing, that's what we love to do, so we're we'll really ready to go. Yep. Hey, Tyree, again, Merry Christmas, Happy Thank Holidays. You. Thanks so much. Best of luck this week. Big week Thank for you. you guys. Thank you. There you go. Great job. Tyree Eady, that's a senior forward. Middleton, Wisconsin with us here. A big key to the success of NDSU men's basketball. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we head to the uh, women's side of things. They got a big win last week in Grand Forks, and they've got big-time matchups with SDSU and USD coming to town. Jory Collins joins us next on the Bison Basketball Show. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile. <laughs> Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile, the loudest flavors ever. Another rock and roll weekend. <laughs> Burgers, better with Pepsi. tires to keep them going when buying tires or adding some style they know exactly where to head okay tire and service with expert technicians friendly customer service and a large selection of firestone tires make the rest a no can do with okay tire this one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile. Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile, the loudest flavors ever. And yeah, welcome back to the Bison Basketball Show. Great to be joined now by NDSU women's head coach, Jory Collins. Coach, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thanks, Jeff. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much. What's it like this time of year? I talked to Dave about it a little bit earlier on in the show. 
You want family to be a big deal, right? I know it's important to you, but also you got some big games coming up this week. You get people back. The weather has been the weather this time of year, right? right? Uh, what's it like as a head coach? Well, it's just there's a lot of moving pieces. Obviously, you want to spend some quality time with your family and friends and, and all the people that you care about. At the same time, we got a job to do. We have huge games coming up uh, and not a lot of time in between. So getting people here and back. Uh, especially with the weather going on is always a tricky business, but uh, we'll get we'll get there. We'll get ready. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And before we talk about UND transitioning into this week, how would you describe the schedule in preparing for big games? You guys are going back on the road once again at yeah. South Dakota State Thursday in Vermilion on Saturday, taking on USD. And so you guys kind of got to bring everything into a compact short amount of time, right? Yeah, now. there's not, you know, the good thing is we didn't have a lot of time off to, you know, normally when you have six, seven, eight days, you start thinking about conditioning and some of those things playing in. But with us playing on the 22nd and getting right back here to practice, that's not much of an issue. This is the best time of year, I think, for college basketball in the sense that there is no class. You get to be a full-time athlete. You get to think of yourself as a pro here for a couple weeks uh, and really get dialed in and, and work on individual things, but also obviously some team things as well. Uh, let's slide into these uh, impressive highlights by the NDSU women on the road at the Betty to open up Summit League play. No matter uh, what the, the records look like or who's played well last week or the week prior, this is always a game coach that has a postseason type feel to it, no matter where it's at in the schedule. And your team obviously was focused and ready to roll in this one. It was, and, and what a great way to start conference play with your rival on the road, and, and you can throw records out the window when it's a true rivalry game. Uh, we saw that last year. You know, We played three times last year. Uh, two of those were in overtime. We were expecting a really close ball game. Um, you know, going into this game, uh, we, we found out that the, the all-time record, I think, was 40 and 40 going into this game. And uh, I think our girls, you know, knew that and, and wanted to tip that in our favor. Did a great job in that game of staying poised. We weren't very poised maybe early in the first half, but kind of collected ourselves in the second half. Uh, had a lot of different people make plays down the stretch. Um, so that was good to see as well. Great look on that previous highlight. Heaven Hamling to Katie Deaton. Heaven's going to join us here. Nice step back jumper there by Heaven. I know she's really led the charge for you scoring the basketball and from a leadership perspective as well this year. Well, she has, and, and she's been, we've kind of moved her off the ball here a little bit lately, a little bit more to maybe free her up. She wouldn't be getting those couple finishes you saw in transition if she was the one handling it every single time up the floor. Um, so we're hoping to free her up and, and give her some more attempts and more opportunities to finish. Um, you know, Deet struggled finishing in that game. You can see her getting the putback. Uh, you know, she just didn't finish great in that game, but what I loved about her is she continued to play hard. She battled the entire time, and her presence, her physicality in the lane uh, really helped us down the stretch. We called Ryan Cobbins' number here uh, multiple times in the fourth quarter um, over and over again. It was a game where we didn't shoot the ball well, uh, but still made enough plays. This particular play, we only had two on the on the 10 second count to get it across and, and had to throw the home run. Uh, Abby made a great pass. Obviously, Heaven uh, ran a little go route here and, and kind of mossed her over the top. Um, <laughs> dropped it off and, and here we get uh, Dietz with the great finish in the and one to kind of seal it late. Oh, maybe a Tyreek Hill reference. Yeah, yeah you know what? Well, right there. It was Heaven, so I couldn't I couldn't do that. There you go. There you go. I, I hear you there. <laughs> A winner for the Bison getting it done over UND. You see our Gate City Bank game recap as NDSU able to go up to Grand Forks. Look, wins on the road in conference play, extremely important. There's no doubt about it. You saw the scoreboard late. You had to make a big play on the road. What does that say about your veterans and about your poise in this game, in this contest, and trying to close this thing out and yeah. finish the way you wanted. You know, we talked about it after the game. I thought it was just a great opportunity to be on the road. There was some situational basketball in the last two minutes as far as what kind of possessions we wanted to have with a two, three, or four point lead. Um, they're pressing us. Uh, we had to take the ball out of bounds at some awkward spots mm -hmm. in the deep corner and, the, and way deep on the sideline with some limited uh, 10 second count and even shot clock situations. So those are all things you can try to duplicate those in practice, uh, but it's really hard to do because and, and you, you can't, you can't you know, feel that energy and that pressure that you have. So to get to work through those in a game setting and then obviously handle them pretty well uh, is a great growing opportunity yeah. for our team. Well, it continues this week as you take a look at the opponents and obviously 
South Dakota State, the University of South Dakota, those are the two programs that have been at the top of the Summit League and the two programs, this women's basketball team, they are looking to track down and uh, bring back to the pack in conference play here this season. Thursday night, 7 p.m. at Frost Arena. You go down to Vermillion after that for a Saturday afternoon tip. And I know your team is fired up for the challenge. Well, it's a great opportunity. Uh, that's really all you can look at it. We know everybody has respect for what SDSU and USD has done and, and the kind of programs that they are. Um, that's what we're striving to be. Obviously, we're not uh, hanging our hat on them getting worse. We got to get better, Jeff. Uh, and our players know that. And, and, and we're trying to make strides every year to make those gains. Yep. As you have seen them the last couple of years, a season ago, you, you really closed the gap, it felt like, on the floor. You didn't get the W's that you're in search of. And last year's schedule was unique. You had the double headers in sure. Vermillion. South Dakota State played here uh, in Fargo overall. But where did you feel like your team? was able to, to close that gap, if you will, well, and get closer with how those two played. I think the first thing was just our mindset. I don't think we were intimidated last year or uh, you know, scared to go play those guys. I think we were looking forward to the opportunity to prove ourselves against them uh, and, and felt like we belonged on the floor with them and could compete. And I think three out of those four games were single-digit games all the way down to the last three or four minutes uh, of the ball game. So we were right there and really going back, just watching the, our, the SDSU games the last couple days over Christmas break. We didn't play particularly well, and we were right in, right in those games. Um, so obviously, we're a better team uh, than we have been and have an opportunity to play with those guys and beat those guys. We just have to go out and execute that. Yep. Coach, can't wait. Great week for you and, uh, and for your basketball team. Best of luck and, uh, and safe travels. Okay, thanks, Jeff. There you go. NDSU women's basketball head coach Jory Collins coming up next. Can't wait. She's a baller, folks. She can score it. Grand Rapids, Minnesota native Heaven Hamling will stop by. We'll pick her brain on this NDSU women's team and the games coming up this week on the road. Stay with us. Oh, Bud Light Celso Retro Tie Highs? <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Salsa Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing time, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. This means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Oh, Bud Light Celso Retro Tie Highs? <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. And hey, welcome back to the Bison Basketball Show. We're fired up. We're excited. Great to have our student athletes here in studio with us on the show this week. And our next guest needs no introduction. She is a baller. She can score it. Grand Rapids, Minnesota native Heaven Hamling stopping by the show. Heaven, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. What was Christmas like this year? You had some conference games, UND last week. Some big ones this week, obviously. Was it nice to get home and uh, hang out with the family? Right, yeah. Well, thank you for having me. And uh, obviously, it's great to play your rival right before you get to celebrate Christmas with your family. So, yeah, my family did come to UND, and they supported me there. And then I went home after that, uh, opened some gifts, and now we're back here. Very nice. If you were to give your basketball team a holiday gift right now with big games coming up, what would it be? 
for your um, squad? Win as many conference <laughs> games as possible, yeah. especially starting off with the South Dakotas yeah. next week. So. There you go. Very good. Let's talk about non-conference play this season. Uh, life of a mid-major college basketball program. You're going to travel quite a bit. You guys certainly traveled a lot this year, and you challenged yourselves with a tough schedule. How would you describe to folks what the non-conference season was like? I would say it was a great learning experience. Uh, we got a good shot at Arizona. Honestly, probably the best basketball experience I've ever played in an atmosphere I've ever been in. And I think we went in there and played them pretty tough uh, for a mid-major team, and I thought we did well. But um, there's definitely some improvements that we needed to uh, fix up in the non-con and now that we're headed into uh, conference play I think we're just uh, getting better each day. Yeah, you see some of the highlights there yourselves and as we mentioned you had some some peer programs that you challenged yourselves with in non-conference play with the Northern Iowa's, the Montana's, the Bradley's. How did those games help you prepare you and get ready for this time of year, specifically this week with what you got coming up. Right, yeah, well, it's a team that you don't know what they're going to do, so you kind of just go into scout and you say, okay, we've never played these guys before. It's kind of a shot for us to just give it everything we got and execute our stuff. So we just went in and gave it everything that we got, and I think it was a good learning experience for all of us. Yep, let's talk about your game right now. You are not shy. You want the ball yeah. in your hands <laughs> in big-time moments, leading this team in scoring, Three-point field goals made as well. Plenty of offensive categories. You've scored in double figures in each of your last seven contests this season. Kind of walk us through your mindset as a scorer and as a basketball player for your team with the way you want to get it done. Right. Well, personally, I just go into every game. doesn't matter who we're playing that. I have the mentality of that we're going to win. It doesn't matter if it's Arizona. I going to go in there and think, yeah, hey, we can beat these guys. So I think just having an attack mentality instead of being attacked um, just kind of gets me going. And then just getting everyone else fired up and just, I mean, getting everyone hyped up is just yeah. the way that I kind of go into the games uh, just from a personal standpoint. But uh, just executing our plays and Jory gives us a great offense and defensive execution uh, plan and just trusting him and the coaches and my teammates as well is just it's just a great atmosphere and it sets you up to succeed. All right, from a player's perspective, what's this week like? South Dakota State, USD on the road. I think it's going to be really fun, actually. I mean, we get to be back after Christmas and we don't have any school to worry about, so we can really focus in on scout and execute everything that we're going to do. Um, honestly, we just got to go there and play our hearts out, and I think good things will happen uh, once we're done with that. Yep, can't wait to see it. I know those are the two teams that you're excited to go and face, having uh, congratulations on your season so far. Best of luck this week in Brookings and Vermillion. Thank you. I appreciate it. There you go. She is a baller, ladies and gentlemen. She can score it. Heaven Hamlin with us. Big thanks to everybody that watched tonight, and thanks for being a part of the Bison Basketball Show. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. This is the North Dakota State University Bison Sports Network from Learfield.